the back end of the call, on all of our calls right here, we've got the finger groove on the insert. That's this guy right here. So that's gonna give beginners and competition callers, hunters, everyone a good guide for that pointer finger. Take that pointer finger right there, put it on the insert, wrap that pointer finger around, wrap that thumb around there, get a good hold on the call so it's nice and comfortable. Your ring finger and pinky finger. Basically what I do there is I just make a fist with those guys, just close them off completely. And that leaves your middle finger left out of the equation. You take that guy and just bring that middle finger up just about a half a knuckle like that. That's your little sound chamber. That's where the sound's gonna come out of. So ring finger, pinky finger, those guys are just closed off. No sounds coming through the call and coming straight out the end of the call like this. The sound's getting redirected on this sound pocket, and then you're going to redirect that sound over into this hand here. Your, I'm right-handed. This would be my on hand. It's on the call. My left hand would be my off hand because it's not touching the call. So you're going to redirect that sound. And basically, I've got two positions that I, that I keep my off hand in. The first position is everything's just closed up in the back. If the geese are a long ways away and I want a lot of volume, all the volume going out the front of the call, my hands are just closed up in the back. No sound's gonna come back out through me, to me, nothing like that. So it's closed up in the back. I'm blowing all the sound out there. There's a drawback to that in that it's going to help the geese or allow the geese to pinpoint your location. So as the geese come in, get a little bit closer, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit and I'm gonna close off the front of that call and I'm gonna blow the sound back behind me. <clears throat> and then I'll switch that up a little bit to throw the sound different directions and around the decoys and away from me so that the geese aren't pinpointing my location so they can't bust me and, uh, and start backpedaling and get the heck out of there. So as far as air presentation, hand placement, two of the biggest things in operating a short read goose call and getting the right sounds out of it.